Hi, um, I'm Chiwe, or Tez, as John has already pointed out. Uh, it's much easier to say than uh, I'm just going to give a brief overview of uh, other aspects of racing games where AI techniques or even pseudo AI techniques can be used to basically make the game more fun, which is, at the end of the day, what a game should be about. Um, so, uh, basically, we have already uh, established basic uh, navigation of vehicles and they already know how to find their way about a path or some sort of map um, by the techniques discussed earlier um, and other things which you need to consider uh, than the tactical side of things um, if you're a player and you're, you've got other opponents then you know the player is providing input um, into the game system and the opponents need to react uh, accordingly so if, uh, if uh, an opponent is trying to overtake um, a player, it needs to decide how it will overtake, when it should overtake, you know, is it a strategic moment to overtake? Uh, and at the end of the day, you want a game which um, the opponents don't act too predictably. So if, if you're playing a game and you, you give the same input or the same stimulus to an opponent, say you nudge into it, you don't want it to always do the same thing, otherwise it becomes too predictable. Whilst at the same time you don't want to the opponents to be so at the other extreme that they're unpredictable no matter what you do because then you know it's, it doesn't really seem realistic if um, the, the opponent is just acting crazy as it was because no one wants to play a game with crazy people. But, well, most people want to play games with crazy people. Um, so this is one particular genre of racing game, uh, combat racing which is just basically introduces um, weapons uh, or some sort of means of uh, attacking vehicles, uh, whether that be mines or heat-seeking missiles, machine guns, as it were. Uh, so this is also an extra constraint that the uh, opponent AI needs to take into consideration. Um, and this will be sort of like decisions about what weapon to pick up from the course, when to use it, um, you know, what, is, what are the advantages of using one weapon over the other. Uh, in the case of, sort of some of these games, you may need to decide to take a longer route in order to reach a certain power-up or weapon, which may give you a benefit or some sort of advantage over opponents later on in the game. So, um, you know, the AI needs to be able to identify um, these sorts of decisions and be able to make intelligent decisions. Now, we've got vehicle customization, which you see in most sort of uh, simulation games. Uh, basically, uh, people can modify the cars and put logos on them and just make it more personal. Now, that doesn't really have anything to do with AI, but um, vaguely, if you have a sort of opponent which is persistent in the game world and it has their own personality and, and their own um, sort of uh, aspects or traits. Um, so sort of aggression and uh, um, style, uh, they can modify their car and they can present their car in, say, if it's an aggressive opponent, then they will want a macho, powerful type car um, to, to show this. And that's just another little thing which AI may be applied to. Um, and realism, again, um, I mean, the graphics, as you can see from these pictures, they look quite realistic in the physics of the particles of the things colliding, um, all up to the, the player experience and where artificial intelligence would become uh, useful in terms of making the game more real is uh, the, the little touches to do with the driver and the opponent. So for instance, in most Storm, the PS3, there's like um, an instance where the opponents tend to look towards the camera as if you know they're saying, "Hey, you know, I'm here." Um, and at first glance, that might seem you know a bit surprising. But after the tenth time, once you've seen it happen over and again and again and again, it's like, "Oh, it's just like a little little trick that they put into the game." But the more of those tricks that you can put into a game, you know, the more it approaches being a realistic game. Um, so for the future. Um, Artificial intelligence, you basically want your opponents to display more varied selection of um, actions uh, in response to whatever the player is giving you. Um, now, it would be impossible to code every single uh, response to however many actions, 
So, I mean, these sort of artificial intelligence techniques, um, such as finite state machines or neural networks, they're models to sort of generalize behavior. Uh, and, and it just means that programming, whilst it might take a bit of work to, to fiddle about with the parameters and, and get the correct behavior that you want, ultimately it means that you won't have to program responses to every single input. Uh, and finally we've got um, the expanding realm into online gaming and multiplayer, uh, massively multiplayer online racing games. Um, so in that instance where you have computer controlled opponents in a uh, online multiplayer racing game, you need to decide where the processing is done um, for the uh, computer controlled opponents. Is that done um, partly client side or is it done on like a central server, uh, and there's some example games there. Uh, finally, we've got a few references that you might want to take a look at, um, mainly relating to neural networks. Uh, questions?